It's impossible to overstate the importance of this car. Did you know that in England, one in five large cars is a Ford Mondeo? I mean, people are buying them as often as they go and buy toilet roll and, and pants. In fact, the term Mondeo man has become a political buzzword. Well, this is the new one. And things have changed a little bit. Mondeo man is now James Bond, but not George Lazenby. Thanks to a lucrative product placement deal, the Mondeo was James Bond's hire car in Casino Royale. And that's quite fitting, because the new Mondeo has gone upmarket. Ford describe it using words like premium and craftsmanship, and they are chasing down BMW. And I freely admit it, the car makes me feel a tad like Daniel Craig. Ford themselves say the old Mondeo didn't exactly make you feel emotional, so they've used a few tricks to make this one something worth showing off, like a subtle blue tint on the windows or jewel-like headlights. And then there's the interior. You've got this exposed stitching, which puts you in mind of a luxury vehicle. And there's some posh options like voice control here and heated seats in the back. And they've gone to great lengths to make the whole interior a much quieter experience. In fact, they've quantified it using something called an articulation index, which measures how easy it is to understand the spoken language. At 99 miles per hour, I can now hear a passenger much easier than I could at 75 in the old car. I said 75. This is actually the most high-tech Ford ever. Sadly, there's nothing from Q Branch, but it's not bad. Gizmos range from the increasingly essential MP3 player socket to active cruise control. That's right, you can now get a humble Mondeo fitted with a radar. But the neatest feature is the 650 pound IVDC, Interactive Vehicle Dynamics Control. And it's pretty trick function, but the best part is it's active suspension. Besides being able to choose between a comfy soft mode or a sporty hard ride, every point two of a second, the car checks its pitch and roll. In fact, it's checking right now. And now, and now, and now, and now. In fact, you get the picture. If the car starts to wobble, it tightens the dampers up and makes for a much more stable car. IVDC helps in other ways. If you're trying to make a quick getaway on gravel, then it pitches the car forward to give you more grip. The system also incorporates a neat way of mastering hill starts. This is Ford's Hill Launch Assist system, and it's perfect for people like Grandma Smith, who really doesn't like having to do this. Now, basically, it does away with the need for a handbrake. I come up the hill, I decide I want to stop, dip the clutch, press the brake, and then as I release the brake, oh, look, the car just holds on its own. No handbrake needed. Perfect hill start every time. Not all the gadgets are high-tech, though, and probably the best one is the simplest. A quarter of a million dweebs put the wrong fuel in their car each year, but this car won't let you do that. Allow me to demonstrate using these props I've borrowed from the local fuel station. You see, it doesn't matter how hard you try, it just won't let you put the wrong fuel in. This simple collar mechanism just won't let me put diesel in a petrol car. It just won't penetrate. Whereas when I use the right nozzle, it glides straight in without any effort at all. Misfueling is a massive problem in the UK, and I reckon this should help combat it. Of course, the Mondeo's main reputation has always been about it being a great car to drive, and it's business as usual here. Well, this particular flagship car uses the 2.5-litre straight five-cylinder turbo out of the Focus ST, which means it sounds like an old Audi Quattro, and it goes like stink, 7.5 seconds to 62, 152 even for a big old saloon like this. And round corners, it doesn't half feel good. Like all Mondeos, it seems to hang on much better than you ever expected to. It's probably not up there with a Focus, but it's bloody good. If this is a rep car, I want to be a rep. Please, can I be a rep? I'll represent anything. What do you want me to represent? This Mondeo's got me thinking. Now, if this is just a Ford, then suddenly the benchmark for saloon cars has been raised mighty high. I think a lot of 40, 50, 60 grand cars out there are suddenly going to look a bit pathetic and a bit crap. This top spec 5 door will set you back about £23,000, while a basic one costs 15 grand. Model for model, they're £300 cheaper than the old version. 
It's a great car, but I'd issue you one warning. Driving it leaves you with an irresistible urge to recreate famous scenes from Casino Royale.